Hello friends, it is me Alana. Welcome back to my channel. For this video, I am going to be doing the mid-year freakout tag. It is that time of year again. I can't believe the year is pretty much halfway over. It's wild. I wanted to go ahead and film this video because it's such a tradition, I guess, now for booktube to film this tag and I thought it would be a fun time. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into these questions. So the first question is best book you've read so far this year and so that one is actually split between three. So I would have to say the first one I have on this list is The Beautiful Ones by Silvio Moreno Garcia. This is Thanks to Cell for pushing me to read this because I loved this so much. I've never felt so much hate for a character before until I read this book. And I think that's why I loved it so much because it was so fun to hate this non-existent character, like this not real person, throughout the entire book. But it was just so good and it made me feel so many things. So I definitely encourage y'all to read this if you haven't already because it's top tier top tier the next one i have is actually a series and that is the plated prisoner series by raven kennedy this is also thanks to monet and so for pushing me to read this because this series is so freaking fun it's so like <laughs> it's just such a good time reading it and i've really enjoyed diving into it this year so i just I just love it so much <laughs> and I'm not even saying like it's top tier writing or anything like that it's just freaking fun and then the last book I have on this list was kind of a little surprise but that is House of Earth and Bread by Sarah J Maas I loved this book so freaking much I read it so fast I was not expecting to love it as much as I did honestly I kept pushing it off because I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about it. But then once I actually started reading it and was really into the story, I was here. I was here for it. I was here. She has me. She's hooked me in. The ending of this book was, like, the most iconic ending for me. I really was, like, screaming. Because I was like, this is so good. I was like, it's so... Just everything I wanted in the moment that I needed it. The next question is best sequel you've read so far this year so for that one i actually haven't been reading a lot of sequels this year but i'm starting to change that habit this summer but so far the best sequel i've read is gleam by raven kennedy which is part of the plated prisoner series this one i loved it so much uh i feel like the books just keep getting better as you move on into the series and this one was just so good to me especially the ending when the thing that I've been had been wanting since the beginning of the first book finally happened I was like yes I was like get your revenge that's literally it it's just the ending the ending was just top tier for me next number three new release you haven't read yet but want to so I have three here that I really want to read this year. I'm saving them for a good moment in time. I think I'm going to read them in August. I think that's what I had planned, but we'll see how that goes. So the first one I have is uh, Magic Steeped in Poison by Judy Island. This one, I actually don't really know what it's about, but so many people have read about it, and this cover is gorgeous. So I kind of just plan to dive in without really know, knowing much about it because... I feel like I can do that. The next one is Daughter of the Moon Goddess by Su Lin Tan. This one I also don't know much about except for it's a retelling, but I'm really excited for this because again, so many people raved about this. And then the third one is The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea by Axie O. I'm really excited for this one as well. All of three of these I'm probably gonna be doing a special video for if I can get my shit together, but we will see. But yeah, I'm really excited to read all three of those because I feel like they kind of follow a specific theme and I'm just saving them. I'm saving them because I feel like they're going to be so good that I want to read them back to back to back. So I'm just saving them for the right moment. So number four, most anticipated release for second half of the year. So for that one, I have two and that is 
Blood Marked by Tracy Dion is the sequel to Legendborn, which I absolutely loved. And I'm so excited for this next book to come out. I'm hoping Simon will send out some arcs, but we'll see. And then the second book I have on this list is The Atlas Paradox by Olivia Blake. I really enjoyed The Atlas 6 this spring when I read it. And so I'm really hyped to see what happens in the next book when it comes out, I believe, in October. So I'm really, really here for it. Also, I just remembered a third one. The sequel to All of Us Villains by Amanda Foodie and Christine Lynn Herman. I'm really, really hyped for that because first book was so good last year so I'm just excited to see how they're gonna end this duology and where they're gonna go with this because where it ended off things were intense and everything was falling apart literally so the next one is number five biggest disappointment so for that one I actually have these violent delights by Chloe Gong I had higher expectations for this one especially because so many people were loving it they were raving about it they kept talking about uh the two main characters and the shipping and all that kind of stuff but i read it and it just was not there for me like it i didn't really get the hype i thought it was just okay i really didn't like the romance and i didn't really think the book should have had a sequel either i really should have thought i really thought it should have been a standalone so unfortunately that was my biggest disappointment this year then number six is the biggest surprise so for those ones um i'm gonna go back to some previous books i i mentioned and the um three of them are guild this was a surprise because i didn't even know what this was about i also haven't really read a lot of retellings so the fact that this is like a King Midas retelling, I wasn't sure how it was going to feel. But it was very much of a surprise that I enjoyed this as much as I did. And then this one was a surprise because of the fact that... Oh, bookmark. This one was a surprise because of the fact that I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about Sarah J Maas's books. Because I had only read Throne of Glass before picking up um, this one and the sequel. So... The fact that I loved this so much was a really, really big surprise for me, especially because I read it within like three, four days, which is probably the fastest I've ever tried reading a book this big. So, yeah. The last surprise was The Atlas Six by Olive Blake. I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about this book. Um, I had been hearing so many people talk about it, which is why I bought it. But I wasn't sure because it felt kind of sci-fi-y but also like fantasy-esque. And so I'm not a big sci-fi person so I wasn't sure what was going to happen. I also didn't know a lot about this before I started it so that was also a factor. But I actually enjoyed this immensely and I'm so hyped for the sequel so we love a good surprise. All right, so favorite new author. So that one I'm gonna go ahead and just say it was Raven Kennedy because I've read her books the most this year so far. <laughs> and she's just, her series has really hooked me in. I don't know if I wanna try any of her other books, but at least with the Plated Producers in her series, I really did enjoy the way she portrayed these characters. Some of them are really dumb, but like, I didn't hate them. So we're here with that. So number eight is newest fictional crush and I'm gonna go back to Raven Kennedy again and so in the series there's King Rot who is like the enemy to King Midas and y'all King Rot is the best thing ever. <laughs> He's like the greatest character I've ever ever read <laughs> ever that's ever been created so far right now to me so I love him. Newest favorite character I have to say Libby from the Atlas 6. I really enjoyed her, which is wild because everybody in the book hated her, but I actually related to her so much. Number 10 is a book that made you cry. So I actually haven't read anything that has made me cry this year so far, but I will say I've been reading through Demon Slayer, the manga, and this made me cry because of a certain death that happens which is wild because you don't even meet the character for super long and then he dies and you're just like 
and I just like sobbed. I really fell in love with the series this year, um, the anime and the manga. So uh, if you are looking for a good manga recommendation, this is it. All right, next is a book that made you happy. And so for that one, I actually have Book Lovers by Emily Henry. This was the best. I loved it so much. It gave me beach read vibes, but like obviously it's a different story. But it, the same things that made me really love beach read were in this book. And that's what made me love it so much. I loved the witty banter between the two main characters. It made me laugh. I was smiling a lot throughout this book as I was reading their interactions and their conversations. So I really really enjoyed this so so much all right and then the most beautiful books you own so i've gotten a lot of fairy loot books so i did get the from blood and ash fairy loot set um i just don't have it here with me right now but that one is top tier gorgeous but i've gotten some other books from fairy loot that i think are freaking gorgeous and so the girl beneath the sea is iconic like fairy loot slats with this like this stenciled part and then even just the inside like i feel like fairy loot smoked crack with this one and then the other one i have from fairy loot that i feel like they smoked crack on was daughter of the moon goddess like look at this it's so gorgeous i when i saw this in the box i just fell in love and it made me want to read the book more because i was like this is freaking gorgeous if this is what y'all imagined when you read this book i'm really excited to read it so these are the two honestly i think besides that from blood and ash set these are the probably the two most beautiful books that fairy loot has done the last question is what books need to be read by the end of the year so my answer is always the same because it never changes but literally all the books that i own need to be read <laughs> i'm trying to read more than i'm bringing in if that makes sense so um my goal is always to get my physical tbr down um and i think i've been doing a really good job this year with it so we'll see how it looks by the end of the year but that's just always my answer because it's always my goal. So yeah, that was my mid-year freakout tag. Thank you all for watching. If you liked the video, please like it down below. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, please leave all that in the comment section. If you're not good at commenting, go ahead and leave me an emoji down below. And if you want to see more videos from me, please hit the subscribe button. You are all sunflowers in a world full of weeds. <laughs>